All right, and I'm back here to finish up what finish up the uh, the expl explanation of this game, the tutorial, and to finish up what I left off. Now we were pretty much on attack procedures, and the last thing we talked about was offensive skills and how they went. Right, for each offensive skill that you use, wherever you are, five spaces across from where you're facing. Pause from wherever you're standing. Not where you're facing, where you're standing. Right, right, right. Keep in mind that not all, not all, oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, here we are. When an enemy is defeated, you pretty much remove it from the board. Pretty much just put it on, put it aside for now. And when you're declaring an attack, your stats pretty much also come into play. Kind of like, for example, if your attack is greater than an enemy's defense, the enemy takes direct damage, basically full damage. If your d defense is greater than an enemy's attack, you take half damage. And your special attack is greater than the enemy's defense, or if your defense is greater than the enemy's special attack, well, pretty much the same results when using attack and your defense. Hence, attack greater than it, then Attack greater than defense, direct damage, defense greater than attack, half damage. Also, if your attack is equal to an enemy's defense, then it results as a clash and no damage is given or taken. Now, we go into stats. Every player has the same amount of stats on their player card. The stats are HP, attack, defense, and special attack. And this player card is supposed to show what, what it says, but my camera here isn't. It isn't, isn't showing the quality that well, so at least you'll know that all everything is pretty much just written here. All your stats, your energy, and the play, and pretty much the number of the player. Now, <clears throat> HP shows how much your player can last throughout the game. Attack determines your regular attack power. Defense helps with ha having damage against weaker attacks. And special attack helps out with powering up your special attacks. And you may notice that you have a zero for special attack on your card. The zero can be increased through stat booster or upgrade cards. And add power to the offensive skills that you buy. If the offensive skills alone is pretty much enough to... The offensive skills pretty much alone have their own kind of power. So when you get that and you upgrade your special attack, you pretty much put... You pretty much putting two and two together and just making your special attack making your offensive skill even stronger so and there's also energy on your player cards which is considered another stat but is not determined by numbers for each player card there are seven dots of energy energy relies on using offensive skills or supers and ultimates super moves use one dot of energy Ultimate use three dots of energy. Energy is not available to enemies. Every player starts off with seven dots of energy. Enemy stats are more diverse from the weakest to strongest. The red enemies are the easy ones with 1,000 HP, 500 attack, and 200 100 defense. And there's the red ones here, all laid out here. The blue enemies are the intermediate ones. With 2,000 HP, 700 attack, and 500 defense. All of these right here. And the purple enemies are the strongest ones. With 3,000 HP, 900 attack, and 800 defense. Definitely the toughest ones. Which is why there's just only four of them. When these enemies are defeated, players can gain money for a certain enemy they defeat. The red enemies give out 1,000 Z. And if there isn't a 1,000 Z, you get 500. The blue enemies give out 1,500, and if there isn't 1,500, you get 1,000. And the player and the purple ones that you defeat, you get 5,000. And if not 5,000, you get these. You get 1,500. Cities also have a set number of HP, which is 10,000. If they're destroyed, they can no longer be used as healing stations. Like if this city here was destroyed, it can no longer be used as a healing station. It's just a regular spot. A spot. But that's not a good thing because if they're all destroyed, the enemies pretty much win the game. 
Enemies, how, however, enemies cannot use offensive skills to harm cities. They can only use their regular attacks to do so. There is a card that displays all the city's health, which I pretty much made right here. Again, camera doesn't show the doesn't show the lettering that good, but it's there. If a player gets to a healing token, like if the green one went right here, if he gets to the healing token right here, all of their health will pretty much be restored, even with health upgrades that you upgrades that you buy. So, now we get to the goals of the game. Players win by defeating all enemies, or they, the players pretty much win by defeating every enemy off the board, or they lose by all players being defeated by every enemy, or each of the cities are destroyed. All of the cities are destroyed. And I, and I guess I might as well give them my final thoughts. Though I say that this is a co-op game, Chances are some players might not think it will be truly co-op, though that the though it still kind of has that feeling. I have play tested this game before, but sadly I wasn't able to get anyone to play test with, so I played this alone, alone numerous times. And the time it took was pretty long, but it came along nicely as it went by and reached the end. The heroes won, of course, though. I bet the game could go at a reasonable time if more people played this game because everyone has a different speed reaction when it comes to making choices. And I wish there was an easier way to tell how much health players, enemies, and the cities have as the game goes by. <laughs> Some sort of built-in electronic number meter. Maybe a calculator will work, but that would probably be too much time wasted. So I did the best I could do. And this game was also inspired the idea of it is inspired by one of my favorite video game series so I was also making this for the reason of being a fan it might not be the most understandable game and definitely not the most perfect one I don't think there definitely will be a perfect one especially not coming from me but I hope that this is a game that people can understand easily and enjoy thank you so much for spending time to listen about my game I hope you have a good life Later.